Hello everyone, welcome back to your tutorial on how to make 360 MMD videos part 3. Last time we learned about how to import downloaded files into your MMD software. This time, we're going to delve into setting up bone and free manipulation of your characters using the bridge plugin. Already to complicate it? For now, you can think of it as editing, which we will elaborate on very soon. Now if your preview of the character movements is clear, you've already made a regular MMD video. But to be able to see your character stands on a virtual reality set, you still need to build a 360 set using a 3D software. As intimidating as it sounds, it's actually a breeze. Back to where we left off, so you've watched the preview of your characters and their moves. And to your left, you can see a menu for bone and frame manipulation. Each little dot is a data point recording your character's movement. You can drag the slider all the way to the end of the bar at the bottom and slowly back up to find the frame the last dot is in. In this case, it's frame number 9180. Mark it down because it's going to come in handy. Find the plugin named Bridge and export your animation into the format Cinema 4D which is the format that can be read by your 3D software. If there are other file formats that you are more accustomed to that are also compatible, then feel free to use them. Click on MMD Bridge on your toolbar, choose the third item down for c4d.py, and then select Execute Export. Set your frame count as 9180, which is the number of the frame we saw the last movement in, Without having to change the frame rate, you can confirm and proceed to rendering and exporting your file. Click on File and select Render to AVI file. Choose your storage location and set your file name. And don't forget to set the same number of frames in the settings as 9180 with a rate of 30. Click Render, and shortly you shall see a small window on your desktop rendering your work. When it's finished, you will see a new folder in your MMD software file bundle named Out. Click through, and you will see all the exported files about this animation produced through Bridge. You can create a new folder to store your files in it. For our next tutorial, we're going to run through the steps of putting your exported files into Cinema 4D for further production. Until then!